Hello everyone, how are you today? This is Mark. I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. Could you please tell me what time it is? Do you know where the closest bus stop is? Is it possible to know what the result of my test was? I wonder if you're paying attention to this lesson. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to make indirect questions. So stay tuned. Yes, that's right. We're going to talk about making indirect questions. However, I spoke about making questions. If you want to watch all those lessons, you may click here. I will review more or less how to make a normal question. What do we need first? We need the auxiliary. Yes, the auxiliary is essential in a question. The auxiliary plus the subject. We have WH question words like who, how, where, when, that goes first. Then we have the, the auxiliary, like I said. Then the subject, sometimes. I will get to that in a minute. Then the verb. The verb could be the base of the verb, a past, past participle, an ing verb. And then we have the object, maybe, or a time expression at the end of the sentence, of the question, sorry. So, we have two types of questions. Um, object questions and subject questions. The object questions follow the following rule. So, WH question word, then we have the auxiliary, then the subject, and then the verb. Like in this example, what are you doing? I'm asking for the object. I'm doing something. So something is the object, right? In the other example, I ask for the subject. So who taught you English? Here, we need the subject. We want to know who. So somebody taught me English. So uh, you can see that we have WH question word and then we have the verb in the past and then the object and then uh, something else, right? So is the subject question. This is a subject question. Who taught you English? So Mark, for example, taught me English. If you want to watch those lessons, you, as I said, you can click there and you will get to that lesson. But in this lesson, I want to concentrate on making indirect questions. And when would we make indirect questions? When we want to be more polite to somebody or we want to mm, keep a distance from someone, right? So we make uh, indirect questions uh, in those cases. And we have expressions that we use when making indirect questions. And so we are going to get to all those uh, expressions. The first expression that I introduced in my introductory example was with could. Could you tell me? Or can you help me? Or would it be possible? Notice how I used modal verbs. So could, can, and would. Remember that obviously if you're making an indirect question, the first part, the first part, of the question is the question. So can, the auxiliary, then follows the same rule, right? The auxiliary can, then you, which is the subject, then help, which is the base of the verb, help, and then the object. The rest is not a question. It's part of the question, but it's not the question itself. Let me give you examples to show you what I said. Could you please tell me? Could you please tell me? I added please here just to be polite. Could you please tell me what time it is? Notice that I don't say what time is it, but what time it is. This is not the question. This is part of the question, but it's not the question. The question is right here. Could you please tell me? That's why is an indirect question. So let's go uh, to the second example. 
with would it be possible? Would it be possible to take a look at your homework? Would it be possible to take a look at your homework? So here, would it be possible is the question and the rest is part of the question, it's not a question. And the other uh, example, would it be possible for me, if you want to uh, be very direct, I mean, showing that it is you that you care, would it be possible for me to go out early from work today? So would it be possible for me is the question and the rest is not a question to go out early from work today. Now, the second expression that I used and that we use actually is do you know or do you happen to know using the auxiliary do and then the subject you, right? Do you happen to know, do you know? And the examples are do you know where the closest bus stop is? Notice here again, do not get confused with these. Some people say, where is the closest bus stop? It's wrong because the question is, do you know? Do you know where the closest bus stop is? Right? Let's look at a second example. Do you happen to know? Do you happen to know? So here, do you happen to know is the question. And then if, if the train arrives on time. Notice something? Yes, we have conjugated the verb to arrive right here. It's third person, the train, it arrives on time. Yes, it is right because the question is this part. It's not this, okay? It's the first part. Do you happen to know if the train arrives on time? Yes, many people make mistakes with this. So, I'm going to erase this and we're going to go over two other cases where we use making indirect questions. Yes, so making indirect questions. The third point, expressions with the verb to be, like, is it possible? Or, is there any chance? So, let's look at the examples. Is it possible to know what the result of my test was? Again, the question here is, is it possible? And then we have to know, the verb, what the result of my test, and here is the subject, was, okay, verb or auxiliary. So, to know what the result of my test was, not what was the result of my test. No, the question is here. Is it possible? So let's look at the other example. Is there any chance, is there any chance for me, if you want to, to use your cell phone or to use your phone? Is there any chance for me to use your cell phone or your phone. Now, if you don't want to use any of these expressions, you can always use I wonder if, or I'd like to know, or I was wonder if. These are not questions, but they are statements made to indicate a question. Let's look at my uh, example. I wonder if your paying attention to this lesson. So, I wonder if you're paying attention to this lesson. So, this is a, an indirect question, but if I wanted to make a direct question, I would say, are you paying attention to my lesson or to this lesson? Are you paying attention to this lesson? If I want to be indirect, I wonder if you're paying attention to this lesson. The other example and the last example for today is I'd like to know, I'd like to know how much this house costs. Look at here, we have the verb to cost, third person, this house, costs. 
So as you can see, there are no questions, they are indirect questions. I'd like to know how much this house costs. Or I'd like to know if you're coming over tomorrow. I'd like to know if you're coming over tomorrow. If I want to be direct, I would say, are you coming over tomorrow? Are you coming over tomorrow? Okay, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. If you have any comments, any requests, you may type them under this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I suggest you do. If you want to share the lesson, you may do so. Have a great day and see you next week with a new grammar lesson. Take care. Bye-bye.